Hello everyone and welcome to the Retail Archaeology 2 channel. Now the other day I was looking at my video game collection and I noticed I have a ridiculous amount of factory sealed games, especially Atari games for a lot of different systems. And I've been wanting to do some more video game content for this channel, so I thought it would be interesting to kind of do some videos on some, some of the weirder games that I have in my collection. And of course one of them that I'm going to want to do is uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure because I've heavily covered Metro Center Mall, which was the location for San Dimas Mall in this movie. So this is the Atari Lynx version, and as you can see, it's 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 still factory sealed. It's got the hang tab and everything, so we're going to open that up. And then I've also got this game, which is uh, Tomcat. For, uh, what was this, Tomcat the F-14 Simulator? I've never heard of this game for the Atari 2600. And this one's really interesting because it's factory sealed, and it's got this uh, Zeller's price tag on it, which is not... Not a chain that I'm familiar with, but I've seen people mention it like in some of my videos and stuff. So um, I thought that was kind of interesting. And again, factory sealed. And th dude, for a 2600 game, that actually looks pretty, pretty decent graphic wise. So I'll be pretty excited to check that one out. And then lastly, I've got this game here, Spider Droid from Frogo Games. And this is kind of an interesting story. So I bought this at the uh, Game On Expo in Phoenix, Arizona recently. And I bought this along with another game uh, from the same the same publisher, and I can't remember the name of the other game right now, but I figured we'd open up this one first. And they had a box, they had boxes of these sealed, the uh, vendor that I bought them from, and they didn't know much about them. There's, there's not much on the internet about this company. Um, it's interesting, it's got a 1987 date on it there. That's a little late for Atari 2600 games. The, the NES was out for a, for a bit at that point. Um, also, this game as well, it mentions uh, that you can use it with the Atari 2600 and 7800, so is there a date on this one? 1988, so this is even a, a later date, so it's very two very late Atari 2600 games and then an Atari Lynx game, which is another system, so let's uh, let's start with uh, maybe let's start with this one first. Let's start with uh, Tomcat, the F-14 simulator. So I want to preserve this this really cool Zeller's price tag. So what I'm going to do when I open this game is I'm just going to slit the shrink wrap, wrap enough that I can open it, but then leave most of it on there because that'll also protect the box too. So um, I'm going to use a box cutter to do that. I'll just real real nicely and slowly slit the uh, the plastic there. You guys hear? The sealed game collectors. I'm gonna make sure that I'm slitting that in a good spot. I'm not damaging the box, but can you guys hear the uh, sealed collectors freaking out right now? And then, there we go, that should just open. Make a nice little flap there. I'm interested to see what this actually comes with. If it's just gonna be a cartridge or a manual. Oh, looks like there's a manual in there, that's good. Wow, even sealed in the box. Dude, these absolute labels, or actually I think it was a claim labels, but a lot of these late Atari game labels I'm seeing now are kind of crap quality. It's already messed up a little bit, but it's still there. Oh, Dan Kitchens, did I miss that? Oh, it does say Dan Kitchens on the top of the box there. Dan Kitchens Tomcat, the F-14 fighter simulator. I'm gonna have to find out who Dan Kitchen is <laughs> when I take a closer look at this game. There's the cartridge. You can see we still have we preserved that that Zeller's price tag, which is nice. And uh, oh, what do we got here? Ordering information. See, this is awesome. Okay, good. I'm glad this came with more stuff besides just the game. There's ordering to order by phone. What is this? Triton Order Center. I wonder if this is around anymore. Huh. It must have been maybe the distributor for the game. See what else we have in here. Got the manual. And it looks like it's not full color, maybe just black and white. Oh, there's an absolute registration card as well. That's cool. Absolute entertainment. I don't think they're around anymore. That's a nice manual. Oh, it looks like there is something color in there, maybe. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Notes from a top gunner. <laughs> by Dan Kitchen, designer of Tomcat F-14 Fighter Simulator. I've always been fascinated by the technology of military fighter aircraft and admired the courage of the pilots who routinely defy the odds in the skies above. 
I've tried to incorporate the spirit and challenges of actual fighter jet combat into this game. It's an Atari 2600 game. That'll be pretty amazing if you've got that in there. <laughs> this is cool. And then it's got all look. It's got the stuff about the uh, F14. Oh, that, that's what I want to take a look at. Oh, is that a catalog? That's awesome. I didn't expect a catalog to be in there. But yeah, the cat the the manual is just black and white. But then there's a absolute games catalog. Oh, I Magic is on there. That's great. Oh, look at that. There's Activision games in here. I have that box copy of Commando. I forget if mine is sealed or not. My copy might be sealed. That might be another one we maybe open up in another video. Oh, they've got Pitfall, of course. River Raid. This is fantastic. Title Match Pro Wrestling. I, I used to have that. I believe I sent that to Mark at Classic Game Room. <laughs> Ghostbusters. What is that? Video Games and Computer Entertainment Magazine. I doubt they're around anymore. That's unfortunate. You think I can still enter the sweepstakes? Probably not. Okay, well this was a pleasant surprise. This actually came with a good amount of stuff. So that was uh, Dan Kitchen's F-14. I'm sorry, Dan Kitchen's Tomcat, the F-14 fighter simulator for the Atari 2600. Let's take a look at, let's see here, what do we got next? Let's take a look at Spider Droid next. All right, next up is Spider Droid from Frogo or Frogo Games. I'm guessing it's Frogo. And like I mentioned, this one I don't know much about either. I just know that it's uh, there was a ton of these still available sealed, a ton of new old stock, obviously, uh, which does not surprise me. There was a lot of late release Atari stuff that I think just did not sell, and, and there's uh, there's just unopened stock everywhere. This place apparently was based in Mountain View, California, which. I believe that's where the Atari 2600, like where Atari was based out of. I'll have to look that up if it was Mountain View, California or not. But let's go ahead and get this guy open as well. And uh, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to find, I'm going to bend this back. Because I think I want to preserve the hang tab, but I kind of want it out of the way. Just bend that there. And we will slit the plastic. And this plastic is a lot thinner. There we go. There we go. Oh, I hate when I... Sometimes opening these without bending the cardboard, I just put a big bend in it. That sucks. Oh, well. So here's... Sp oh, it looks like there's some stuff in here as well. Besides just the game cartridge. Now, surprisingly, this one, the label is still in actually pretty decent shape. It's nice and white and shiny and everything. That's surprising. Because from what I understand, this is a much smaller publisher than the last game. And let's see, so we've got a manual in here. Spider droid instructions. And in color, surprisingly. Only a few colors, but still. And there's something else in here too. What is this? Well, this is like on cardstock. But it looks like it's just a warranty card. But no catalog or anything. Still pretty cool though. From what I've read, these games from Frogo or Frogo or whatever are not that great. So I don't have high hopes for this one, but we'll see, we'll find out. All right, and we saved what may be the best for last. This is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for the Atari Lynx. Now, from what I understand, the NES game, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, is not that great. I've never actually played it, but I remember reading a ton about it in Nintendo Power Magazine. And I, I wanted to play it then, but then, you know, just I guess the internet has soured me about trying it over the years. So I'm pretty excited to try this because I am a huge fan of the Atari Lynx. So uh, what is this? This says 1989 is the copyright date on this. And what's fantastic is there's even a little George Carlin there up in the moon. So let's uh, let's get this one open. This one, where does it open from? It opens from the front. That's interesting. That might actually make it easier as far as the the 
the hang tab is concerned. Now I bought this this game, this copy I bought at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo uh, last February, which I will be attending again this year. This year it's in Pomona, California. Last year it was in City of Industry. You know, as a kid, you would just, you know, you just tear into this, you wouldn't even save the box. You just rip the shrink wrap right off and the box would get crumbled up. And I, I'll have to be honest with you, this box is not not in that great a shape already. It's a little bowed and everything. These Atari Lynx boxes were not in the best shape. We're not the best boxes, but Atari wasn't doing all that great at the end, so it doesn't surprise me that they skimped on materials a little bit. All right, so I'm interested to see what actually comes in here too, because it's kind of random whether or not an Atari Lynx game came with a manual, or sometimes it was a poster that was also a manual. So it'll be interesting to see. Here's the uh, cartridge. You've got Bill and Ted on there, and if you weren't aware, they're actually working on a third Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure movie, from what I understand. I, I hope they return to San Dimas Mall. That would be interesting, considering uh, what kind of shape. Metro Center Mall is in now. Let's see what else we got. Uh, it looks like this one might be a poster. Got your warranty card here, Atari Customer Relations. Atari Corporation Limited 90 Day Warranty for Lynx Video Game Card. I'm guessing that's expired now. So yeah, this was pretty common, and this is actually pretty awesome too. I'm gonna probably hang this up, either in the garage arcade or in my office, but well, that's a big poster. We might have to take a step back here in a minute to look at the whole thing, because it is very big. But basically the way these worked is you had a poster for the game on one side, and then the like instruction manual for the game was on the other side, which is a little impractical because you know, if you actually hung the poster up, you know, you wouldn't be able to read the instruction manual again, but I guess it's also not a big deal. I mean, how many, a lot of these games were not that complicated, so you didn't need to read the instruction manual more than once, but that is, that is great. Look at that artwork. <laughs> wow, that's cool. So I'm pretty excited to play this game. I hope it's, I hope it's better than what everybody says the NES game is. Let's, uh. Let's see if we can get the whole poster and frame here. There we go. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for the Atari Lynx. Now that is fantastic. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video opening up some really old sealed Atari games. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And also don't forget to check out my main channel, the Retail Archaeology channel. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.